Hey people of YouTube, Clever Pup here. So, if you guys are having problems with hornworms, and just to let you know what a hornworm looks looks like, I got one right here. Still alive. Okay. He's about to die, just so you know. He's about to kill him. This is a pest that you do not want in your garden. Just trying to get all the good angles so you can see what kind of worm it is that you have to deal with. So he is going to go back into his bag where I put him. If I smush him, I smush him. This little bastard deserves to die. And if you have one of these things, and you're wondering where all your greenery is going, wonder no further. It's this little guy right here. What he is called is a tomato horn worm. He will take out one to three crops of tomatoes in one day. He's actually big. This one here, he's actually really big. I'm surprised I didn't lose any more of my tomatoes. I was wondering why I was losing tomatoes. Well, it's probably because of him. I have a raised bed right on the other side of this door over that way. And I've lost three uh, tomato plants. And it's most likely because of him. He, he kept on dodging me and dodging me. What you're going to need for combat for this guy, what kind of weapons you're going to need, is basically something to kill it with, whatever it might be, your foot, whatever. They do lay eggs. So when the eggs hatch, they're going to be little tiny guys like this. It's going to go around in your garden and wreak havoc. To combat that, to find it before that happens, you gotta let them hatch, unfortunately. But when they hatch, you can, you you have a weapon that you can use, and that weapon is a black light flashlight. I'm gonna turn off the light, and you can see him glow. Hopefully, this package doesn't mess it up. But here we go. Lights off. And you can see him right there. He'll, he'll, he'll show up. But you can see him right there. See how all the other stuff is... Blew it out. And then you go right to him. And you can see him right there. He shows up pretty good with this method. If you have a, a, a good flashlight... You'll be able to see them better. But if you have like a low end flashlight. You might struggle just a little bit. So. You're going to need something to kill it with. You're going to need to find the eggs. If it hatched eggs and stuff like that. Most likely it did. Keep an eye on your crops. Make sure there's no leaves being eaten. And stuff like that. Because that's what they attack. Is the leaves and they go after the tomatoes. And then once the tomatoes are gone, the plant's gone, basically. And then they go to the next tomato. And yes, they do leave the eggs on the stems so that their little offsprings, demon offsprings, can come and eat whatever they didn't eat. So, yeah. Screw this guy. He's gonna die. 
I'm not going to show that on camera for YouTube reasons and stuff like that. But yeah, he's right there. Actually, tell me how you want me to kill this little son of a bitch. And I'll do it that way. Fire. Suffocation. Just smush him. Cut him. Let me know. I'd like to know what you guys think. Because most gardeners will see this guy. And get freaked out about it. But not me. I'm not freaked out about it. I'm just more mad about it. And he needs to go away. So yeah, leave a comment. What do you want me to do with him? I, I'm shaking him like that. Because it's probably pissing him off. And make him scared. So I just keep doing it. Because... One little worm, and it got rid of all my, almost all my tomatoes, which pisses me off. So that's I'm um, clever pup guys, and I'll show you the raised beds in an upcoming video. I'm just I just haven't made it that way yet, but you'll see the raised beds in an upcoming video. So I'm in a video here. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later, guys.